Hello, 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 my lovely friends. It's Christine Treanor talking to you from New Westminster, British Columbia, Canada. I hope you're doing really well on the seventh day of April, the seventh day of the fourth month of the new decade. Whoa, seven days into the fourth month, of April. Awesome, right? And today, as I continue on with my daily thoughts today on this, my love and kindness day, I want to explore what is always out there the word or the verb or the noun of TLC, tender, loving care. And the reason why I want to share this with you today is because it's kind of heartfelt for me because I've actually entered in a strange way in my life right now where I think TLC starts at home. It helps with ourselves. So let's explore this for a few minutes. And it probably won't be too long because I'm getting carrying on with my day. But I really want to get this out today because you know what? Through hell and high water, I get my daily thoughts in every day, right? And let's continue to explore, shall we? And hey, basically, I'm wearing orange and green. What do you think? Hey, Palisa girl, how you doing? Thanks for watching, girl, all the way from Chilliwack. Um, okay, let's, it basically means extra attention to make someone or something look or feel better. Or this one, considerate and compassionate care which in turn we give ourselves then we care then we can send this out to everyone around us and I thought sharing this love to others giving this is what I wrote down here okay guys considerate and solicitous, solicitous care is basically another mean to me this has a lot to do with how much we love ourselves and how much we give ourselves love each day giving ourselves extra love attention so in turn, we can give it back to others, like paying it forward from yourself to others. Sharing this love to others, giving TLC whenever we can. And you need to treat yourself with a kind and loving way, even when all hell breaks loose, especially in our world today with the turmoil that's going on in the world today, right? Each and every one of us, Take the time to give ourselves tender, loving care each day of our lives. Therefore, we can we will continue to share our hearts and our minds and our love. Now, this is a short little daily thoughts today because I wanted to share with you today. Uh, for some reason today, I want to really share this because I don't think I really have been giving myself the proper TLC, tender, loving care. Why am I sharing this today? Is because I don't think I really have. Um, since my birthday, March 26, I have been indulging really badly with my eating habits. Now, I've been eating healthy, but my sweet to tooth has been through the roof right now. So bad that I've been indulging. I've been making homemade sweets. I've been really trying my best. I stay home, and whatever I have at home, I make the things I enjoy to eat. But instead of being proportionate I'm going insane and I'm giving myself truly hell I'm beating me I've been beating myself up for almost 10 days now angry with me pissed off at me mad at me because I know what's happening now because I probably put almost 10 pounds on and I was supposed to keep that weight on just in case when I do have my surgery time now I have to start from square one and lose that 10 pounds believe me I'll do it but I beat myself up I was in tears for two or three days I was fighting and struggling and I know because I wasn't giving myself that hug and that love I normally do in the mirror every day I haven't been doing my self-love every day and I haven't been giving myself a bit of a break and patting myself up on the back for all I've done so far in my life as I've hit 60 instead I've been beating myself up oh guys I mean really beating myself up and realizing that uh, that's not good because I was angry with myself and then my masseuse is more angry because he sees me indulging, he sees me gaining weight. He really can put me through the ringer too. So I was struggling. <laughs> so today I did myself a good deed and I gave myself self-love. I looked myself in the mirror and I said, I love you. You're beautiful. You're awesome. Hey, Jeff, how you doing, dude? You are a compassionate, beautiful woman and you're going to get through this with constant willpower and love and this is this way as I share this with you today a little bit of emotional I do apologize because I really wanted to really get that out that TLC starts at home yes TLC is the most beautiful part of being who we are each day but if we don't give ourselves that TLC at home to us first how do you expect to pay it forward to give it back isn't that that true and so as I realized this this past few days 
That's why I started doing my gratitude journal. And believe it or not, I did write down my gratitude journal. And I did that to myself. And I'm going to share them with you today as well. This is part of my daily thoughts. And the first one I said is, I'm thankful to me. For I am a truly beautiful soul. Or number two, I give thanks to the birds that are twittering each morning. Their song are, mag are magical. And I give thanks to the sun, sunlight, that wonderful dose of vitamin C, the warmth. It so enriches. And I wanted to share those three gratitudes I did today as well. And I thought today, more than ever in our life today, as the world goes crazy with what's going on, giving ourselves the self-love, taking care of ourselves, and then TLC back threefold is more important. As I share this, my daily thoughts today on love and kindness. Today. I think I talked about it, but not the TLC part before. And I do my best not to be repeated, but for some reason, TLC was in my brain yesterday, and TLC was in my brain this morning, so I thought, that's my topic for today on my Love and Kindness Day. Now, here are some interesting quotes, and I've written a couple myself, because <laughs> I'm, I'm into the quote mood as well. And this one is by Joel Austin. Austin. Selfishness is weakness, but loving and caring for others is a position of power beyond anything we can possibly imagine. Or this one by Mother Teresa. The most important medicine is tender love and care. Beautiful. Or this by H, this one by H. Jackson Brown Jr. Be tough-minded but tender-hearted. Or the one by Lucille Ball. Love yourself first and everything else feels in, falls in line. You really have to love yourself to get anything done in the world. Um, tender love care. Tender love care starts with you. From from there, you can share your love tenderly back. Actually, I wrote that myself. I actually wrote down three. It starts at home where we begin to have tender love care to ourselves, our loved ones, and friends. And this one, be someone's sunshine when the skies are gray. Lift them out of the darkness and into the light with love and tender love. Love tender love and those are the three little quotes that i've written down i hope they good, and i hope they this little share i did today i hope it gave you some value my lovely friends but thank you parisa my lovely girl for coming on and saying hello i love you and thank you jeff my lovely friends awesome i love you too and give yourself that tlc so you can give that tlc the tender loving care back to everyone around you it is such a beautiful part to open up your mind to yourself, your mind and your love to yourself, and you can give it threefold back. I'll talk to you soon, my lovely friends. Bye.